Here we go, the review of this ASUS motherboard. This is the M5A78LM LX Plus. Very, 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 to me, a ver rather loaded motherboard for the price point. Uh, so, uh, sit tight, don't go anywhere. We're going to review this very nice motherboard from ASUS. <laughs> Okay, as you see, this is an ASUS motherboard. In my system, I have an ASRock motherboard, but I got to tell you, they're, 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 ASRock is a uh, sub-vendor from ASUS, but nobody does it better than ASUS. As you can see from their nice ROG motherboards, this is going to be sort of um, their, uh, can't get the word out. But let's get the box open. Well, first of all, let's just go over what's on the front of the box. EPU. Energy savings uh, monitoring chip, turbo key, easily overclock your system. You have for one press of a button, but the manual will tell you how you do that. Anti surge protection detects any over voltages and shuts down the motherboard to per to protect your components. Core unlocker unlock extra cores on your processor, usually on black edition processors you can do that, but you can only unlock up to six cores. So if you have a four core, you you can unlock a fifth or a sixth core and solid state capacitors. Hopefully this is showing up on the camera, but that's what it looks like. So you got your solid state capacitors, core unlocker, anti surge protection, and turbo key, EPU. I tried to keep that on the frame, but... And you also have support for your... There we go. Phenom X2. Phenom 2, X2, X6 processors, and this is a 760G chipset. On the back, EPU, of course, I already explained some of this stuff. You can easily flash your BIOS with a USB drive. And this just tells you what, what's what on the motherboard. And uh, this motherboard does meet the ERP rating, so when this motherboard is powered off or your computer shut off, this motherboard consumes less than one watt of electricity. I've seen that proof because it, mine does it. When my computer is completely shut off, even with the monitor plugged in, believe it or not, it says about a watt, 1.2 watts, so somewhere around that neighborhood. So I'm going to open this box. We're going to go over the components. This box won't stay open, so I'll open it up this way. You have your I.O. shield. Very convenient, or not very convenient, very needed. Make sure you put that on. You have your black, which will look nice in inside the case, black SATA cables. Uh, to let you know this motherboard is SATA 3. You have your drivers, but you, um, I'll probably get the latest ones off the internet. Uh, I am building this computer for another person, so this motherboard will have the case badge with it, of course, but I will download the latest uh, drivers from the internet. And your user's manual, which I looked at it, it looks pretty nice. It's not in color, but it looks pretty nice. Okay, now to get the motherboard out. I'm going to just de-static myself here. Here's the motherboard. So I'm just going to sit it back here so you can see what I'm talking about here. I'll just close this up. Move this out of the way. It's still not in frame. Alright, that should be better. Now, right here, you have two DIMM slots for your DDR3 memory, 1800 uh, megahertz overclockable. This will take up to 8 gigabytes of DDR3. You have your 24 pin motherboard connector. You have two SATAs right here, SATA 3. You have four more down here. Hopefully you can see that. Put this up some. You have your South Bridge and your North Bridge chipset, 7760G chipset. You have PCI, original PCI, PCI X1. Another PCI X1, and you have a PCI X16, which um, most likely you're going to throw a video card in. You have your AM3 socket right here, and this is AM3 Plus if you uh, 
read the box, it is AIM-3+, so it is a uh, AIM-3+, ready for those uh, bulldozer processors. And here's your mounting uh, bracket right here, so when you put on your CPU coolers and stuff like that, you won't have a problem. You won't have to push them in like an Intel one. You have your motherboard headers down here, USB headers, and then you have a wake on LAN, I mean wake on USB up here. And these are your power headers to let you know. These are not USB headers, but the rest of them under here are USB headers. Let's look at the rear I.O. You have two PS2 ports for your mouse and keyboard. Serial port if you have an old, uh, you know, game controller or something you would like to use, or an old printer. Or actually, the printer would most likely use parallel. You have VGA. You have two, excuse me, four USB 2.0s. Gigabit LAN, analog sound on the HD chipset. Let's look at the back. You have a very, very large back plate. So, what's the back plate for? When you guys buy motherboards, you're trying to wonder what is the back plate. Well, the back plate actually reduces the board from bending. So, when you know, you know, if you use an Intel motherboard and you put on um, the push pins and you have a micro ATX board, you'll see the board bend because the force from that uh, CPU cooler trying to stay on, it's actually causing the board to bend. This reduces the board's bend, basically extending the life of the motherboard and stuff like that. Really good solder joints on the back too, so you notice that. Really good solder joints. So what else to talk about this board? Well, it does have a 3000 series uh, GPU on board, DirectX 10 support. You have 4 plus one phase, power phase technology. You've got solid state caps as you can see. Here's your VRMs over here. Your EPU is somewhere up here, I can't find it. I forgot to point this out, this is your CPU power. If you don't plug this in, your CPU won't blow up, but your, or I mean your motherboard won't blow up, but you won't get any power to your CPU, so yeah, make sure you plug in your CPU power. And other than that, oh, and here's your CMOS battery, but other than that, this is a really nice motherboard. You heard me go over the features. If I've missed anything, correct me in the comments. Don't curse me out, though. This is probably one of my first, um, you know, unboxings that had good light, I guess. You know, I never do it. And this is one of my first motherboard unboxings. So, uh, this has been the unboxing on the Asus, I was going to say ASRock, on the Asus M5A78LMLX+. I forgot the rest. If you have any questions or comments on this motherboard, because I will be using this motherboard uh, in a build, don't be afraid to uh, leave your comments below, or you can uh, contact me through my PM. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to watch any of my upcoming unboxings, tutorials, gameplays, um, or how-to videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.